Okay, we're in the Bear Aloha. We just finished yesterday. That it says Niktam Rosho, that if the top of the lulav is cut off, so the Mechaber says that all the upper leaves were snipped off. Doesn't mean the center leaf. The Ramos says the Niktam Rosho means that center leaf that comes out of the shedra, out of the spine of the lulav, that's what's snipped off. So the Bear Aloha spoke, the Shemur spoke about a case. What about if you have two leaves that come up to the very top? And one of them is cut. Both of them not cut. Right? Is it two? We have three. Is it, do you need the majority of the, of the, of the three? That's two of the three. But one. But what about, is it, even if you have, they come up alongside one another, it's the center one. The center leaf is always the primary leaf. Even though you have three leaves where it's the same level. Okay, so that was the Wurmachmir. Wurmachmir. That it, even if you have only the center leaf and you have two other leaves coming up alongside it, the center leaf is cut, that little leaf should not be used. Usually has one. One. What? Right, right. It's an abnormal. You don't find it. Right. One leaf comes up. To right, right. One leaf protrudes higher, extends higher than the other leaves alongside it. But the Ramos says of the Chiddush, that if you don't find it, if you can't, it, even if the, it's, and you have no alternative, you could even say a bracha. With the center leaf is snipped, the top of the leaf is snipped off, you could even say a bracha on that. But that's only, to be explained, because there's a question, does the majority of the leaf have to be cut off? Because it's unclear from the base, from the mechaber. Is it just the tip? Or means the majority of that leaf above the spine? Right? He says, you should be machmir. Brings from many that even if it's slightly cut on top, the 99% of the leaf is there, but the tip is snipped off. It's, it, no, only then, no, then you should be machmir. Not to say the bracha. Not to. Not to. Then you should not. It's interesting. You know, very often people, you, 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 have a, you put the lulav in, a, in a, the different types of lulav holders. But if you use a bag, sometimes you have to put it in the bag. Very often, the tip, you, you actually hit the tip. It's very easy to break the tip of the lulav. It comes to a point on top. So according to this, if you break the tip, I mean, it's, it's, you, you can't say a bracha on it. You're not able to say a bracha. Even though it's just the tip, the majority of the upper leaf is there. It's just the tip is broken off. You have to be careful. When you do it, or sometimes when a person does not know him in shul, you know, he may hit the wall or something. Or um, you go in your sukkah, and you have a long lulav, and accidentally you hit uh, one of the overhead beams in the sukkah with it. Uh, you have to be careful. And especially, you know, somebody says, could I please borrow it? And the person's not careful. He's the one who, who does it. You do it as one thing, but, but here you're doing the man a favor, and he goes in, and he, he, he validates the lulav by causing the tip to break. It's relevant. Any, any, any length. It comes out of the spine. You have a picture. Hmm? Howard, yeah. show and tell. Let's see. Oh, this is what's his name. Something else. Niktam Rosha. What? Yeah. It emerges, it emerges here into a into a good. Into the interior, that's it. Here he shows over here where the spine is. On page fifty three. Different book. Different book. See over here. Okay. <coughs> What's that? We, we, we didn't get we didn't get to the other days. I just want to do Rashi. I mean the Baralocha. We left a Baralocha. He says it's possible that even if the central leaf is broken, the Ramos says it's possible. So this is important. But he says, but if you have no alternative. 
then you could use it, even say a bracha, right? That's what the Ramos says. So what about, because we find Niktam Rosha by regarding uh, Hadas, or Narav, let's say the tip of the Hadas. The Hadas is perfect. Three leaves all the way up, and the top, the top gets snipped off. Or the Arava top is snipped off. So what is snipped off means? How much of the top has to be snipped off, even though they only have one stem, right? Hadas, the stem, you only have one stem. So it seemingly it definitely should be possible. Because here, the, whole, the lulav, you have other leaves. You have other, it may be the center, but you have other leaves. But by, by a hadas or a, or a, or a, or a, a rova, it's snipped off. The, the no, it's not. No, the top's cut off. Here, the top of the is not cut off. The top leaf is cut off. The stem is the essence of the, of the hadas and the arova. Right? Here, you have other leaves. You have a spine, you have other leaves coming up. It's just that the upper, the upper leaf is cut. The upper leaf is cut. Okay. He says, Posul. What about the upper leaves? Let's say the hadas. The leaves go all the way up. You see, the halach is if you have the majority of the, the, the arob is covered with leaves, it's valid. Let's say the upper leaves are torn off. Right? It's, it's stripped bare. It's naked on top. Right? No, let's they were torn off. Torn, the leaves were torn off. Right? So the halacha is, it's kosher. There, yeah, he says, this, you, have, you have to have the stem itself has to be cut, to be niktam. Okay, this he says, the niktam roshu afilu mina olin levad. Regarding a lulav, even the leaves, the leaves themselves invalidated. Avo linyan hadas rov lamikri niktam roshu achiye niktam me eitso shelohem. The actual the stem has to be cut. It's unclear how much. Even slightly cut. As the Ran says, when we speak about Niktam, it means even to a slight degree. In regard to Adas and Arav, it's also even to a slight degree. One second. The Ramos says, but if one doesn't have an alternative, you can even say a brach on it. If the center leaf is cut. Because you have the majority, you have the other leaves. The Mogrim argues with the Ramor. He says, "The Morchei Koi Rak Hadas." He's speaking on Hadas. Kedel Kamon Avlo Lula Vamer Kamachem Yishu Divri Ramor. The sum of Lek Acher Al Kam Poskim Mikilin Ol Em. Sorry, because there are many Poskim the Mechaber. The Mechaber is of the opinion it's not the center leaf. You have to have the majority of of all the upper leaves have to be cut. So the Ramor says. The, the primary opinion is what are the, the other, what the Mechaber says. However, he says, we should be machmir, that even the center leaf. But it's, so therefore, if you have no alternative, then you rely on the Mechaber. Okay? The Shvil Niktem Roshu Davka Brovolin, Kedea Kamaisa Shal Mechaber. That's the Mechaber. Gamim Nizba Da Olem Tsoikoi, Yesh Das Arayv Davka Im Niktam, Gamim Yashedro. Even if the center leaf, but it has to be cut, part of the, the spine also has to be cut. Therefore, we have so many uh, adjunct opinions. Even though, and not everybody agrees with the Ramon, the Ramon says you can even say a brocha, people are machmir. Since you have multiple reasons to validate the lulav, therefore you can even say a brocha on the lulav, where it's niktam rosha. No, no, all, no, no. You have to select the majority of the leaves. Yeah, you have to. We'll get to that later. You have the majority of the leaves. No, but I'm saying a lulav, a lulav is made of leaves. The whole lulav is leaves. A hadas and a rovo is not, oh, there's a stem and there are leaves that grow out of the stem, right? Even we speak about a shedra, there's a shedra. You, you could strip everything down to nothing, right? So everything's comprised of leaves. To be continued.
There's nothing left. That's different, Hello. That's also. We we we, did, we didn't we only first it was a question. The Ramos says it's it's a problem. The Mahabra says it's not a problem. The majority of the leaves have to be split. We'll machme like the split slightly. It's nothing. Lachatchila, you shouldn't use it. If you have an alternative, you shouldn't use it. That's what he says. If you can't find your camp, it's fine. But if you could, you definitely should try to use that. But he says. Even if you could borrow somebody's lulav, you don't have to borrow somebody's lulav to get a closed lulav. Even if yours is slightly split, you say to brach on your own. It's less than four. It's less than four inches. Then, then we we discuss that. But then, then it's a problem.